Hi everyone, welcome to Autris. Today let's take a look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of using Windows 8 over Windows 7 on your home PC. I know there's quite a lot of people out there still skeptical of knowing what does Windows 8 has to offer me that is better than Windows 7. So let's get to it. The first advantage I've noticed is the definite performance increase. Windows 8 uses 20% less memory at idle when compared to Windows 7. It means that you get to use, tw uh, you get to run a few more apps simultaneously over Windows 7. The second advantage is the built-in antivirus software. Windows comes with uh, Windows Defender, which used to be called Microsoft Security Essentials, built into the OS, so that you don't have to go ahead and download third-party apps uh, to meet the security needs. So. The third advantage is the ease of restoring your PC back to factory settings. Back in the day, you had to, uh, you, you could restore your machine, but Windows never did a good job at it. Now, Windows coming with the factory, uh, restoring back to the factory settings option to help you with the complete formatting of your uh, personal files and giving you just the system files so that you can hand over your machine to a new user without losing any of your personal information. Now the fourth advantage is the built-in usable apps. Windows comes with usable, decent mail, calendar, and map app uh, built into the system so that you don't have to download third-party apps. And it does a decent job in providing you with some of the features of a full-fledged app. Now the fifth advantage is ironically the uh, task manager. Windows 8 has a task manager a bit more intuitive, easy to use uh, so, uh, task manager. You can, as you can see, it shows you all the information of all the apps that are running and how much resources it's using. So it's actually quite, it's actually a little bit better than the previous Windows. Now let's go to the disadvantages. Now there's quite a lot of them. The first disadvantage I've noticed is the start menu. Windows 8 start menu is such, it's a full screen experience where previously it never was in your face kind of thing. When you're writing a document or performing some sort of browsing, if you want to open an app, you didn't have to open a full screen app. All you have to do is just hit the start button, which only took up a, a certain portion of your Windows window. Now it just takes a full screen and it just takes you out of the experience. The second uh, disadvantage is the closing of the app. As you can see, window, previously in Windows, all you have to do is close the app by pressing the X button. Now there is that, plus you got a drag and drop apps that are belong to the metro style. Another disadvantage is the fact that after you update your machine, now Windows kind of threatens you with uh, a two, uh, like see, a two day warning. And in that two days, uh, machine will restart. I don't have options to extend it or anything. It'll, it will restart in two days. Another disadvantage is the notification center. Windows 8 comes with the notification center, but you cannot really customize it. All you can do is just pause it which is kind of stupid. Another disadvantage is the share button. Windows 8, as you can see, comes with a share button on its charms menu, apparently that's what they call it. Uh, but you cannot share anything on your desktop. You have to go into the uh, tablet interface to share any of the things, which is kind of a, I think it's a kind of a dumb thing. Now, another disadvantage is the touchpad versus mouse. For laptop users like me, my primary, you input is by touchpad and touchpad is not really friendly with Windows 8. Windows 8 is actually much better built for mouse than touchpad and I found it a lot more usable with mouse because uh, there's a lot of drag and drop and mouse seems to be a better option. Last but not least uh, is the multiple apps. Windows 8 comes with a lot more uh, app confusion I would say. Like as you can see there is uh, Evernote two places, one on the top and on the bottom. One is built into the Metro style and the other one is for the desktop side. I use Evernote. As you can see, this kind of causes uh, some sort of confusion and going forward, you'll see a lot more of this confusion because a lot more developers want to migrate their uh, app to the Metro style app. And obviously there's going to be two instances of the app existing in the computer. and that's kind of a downside and these are some of the disadvantages as you can see there's quite a lot of them over the advantage but end of the day uh, for me it was a whole experience I've, I've been a Windows user for the longest time and I was kind of getting tired of the whole uh, Windows user interface and Windows 8 does bring a little bit of change into the uh, 
environment and I kind of like that that's the only reason why I actually upgraded to uh, Windows 8 because you know it's about time we get some change in Windows 8, uh, Windows experience so thank you guys for watching and uh, thank you for staying with me this long I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day I hope uh, I helped you guys uh, with some sort of information to help you decide on if you want to stick with Windows 7 or move to Windows 8.